My friends, I told you Tesla was going to reduce their prices again. They've just done it. Guess what? Time for me to buy. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans and I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. We usually publish around five to seven videos per day on this channel. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you check out some of the 2,800 videos we've done over the last just over a year and a half. 2022, it was an amazing year. Thank you for you know, coming along on the journey with us. And 2023, it's gonna be even more amazing. And I've been saying now for a long time, EV prices will come down. More competition, more vehicles being produced, and what happens? Prices can come down. Now, one of the key reasons for this is what Leap Motor just said. The CEO of Leap Motor, which makes, well, they were making a lot of EVs, were selling a lot of EVs, and then their delivery numbers just came down a fair bit because they said they need to build 500,000 vehicles per year in order to break even. They don't build anywhere near that many, neither does most. In fact, neither does any other car maker in China except BYD. So you can see every Chinese automaker in China, making EVs is making it a loss, or maybe they're breaking about even, maybe, but generally making a loss to get market share, to get their get their nose in. However, Tesla and BYD make a lot more cars. They have a lot more ability to reduce prices. Even the CEO of NEO said this. The CEO of NEO said Tesla's big advantage over many of the competition is efficiency and their ability to reduce the cost of their vehicles. It's their strength. Now, he was kind of criticizing the company at the time, but he said, you know, they could be disrupted at any moment. Not by Neo, that's for sure. Tesla just reduced the, its prices in Japan, China, Australia, and South Korea. And well, in China, if you include the some of the incentives that still exist, you can get a Model Y for around 34,000 US dollars. Yeah, they're on. They're pretty much on par now with gasoline-powered vehicles in China. And honestly, Tesla won't be selling them at a loss. Their margins in China are pretty spectacular. But I do think they won't be able to, you know, have the first quarter enormous margins that they normally have. Those margins will come down a bit, but their demand is going to increase massively. So what are the prices? Well, in the US, Tesla has already reduced prices. I talked about that. I said that would happen to you guys. I said, just wait a bit longer. It did. Maybe I shouldn't have said that because, you know, that have probably affected Tesla's sales numbers to some degree. Now, China, Model 3 rear-wheel drive, $33,000 flat. That's a 12% price drop, $33,000. Model 3 performance, $46,000. $46,000 for the Model 3 performance. It's one of the best performance cars in the world for that price. I mean, don't forget, this thing can do 3.3 seconds, zero to 62 miles an hour. That's zero to 100 kilometers an hour. This, most performance cars, right, can't do that. That's that's impressive. Now you're probably saying, yeah, but it can't go around corners. Well, that's that's false. It's patently false. Top Gear tested it. It beat the BMW M2 around their test track. It's done that a few times. Model Y standard range, 37,000. 37,000, that's the, that's the standard price before you, do you have any incentives? There's incentives all over China that still exist in all different states. And a lot of those apply to EVs only. For example, registration plates are difficult to get, but if you, have, if you buy an EV, they're pretty easy to get. Model Y long range, $45,000, and the Model Y performance, $52,000. In Australia, the prices have come down. Aussies, I did tell you this would happen. Model 3 rear-wheel drive, it's now 63,900. So it qualifies for the incentives that you can get in different states here in Australia. The Model 3 long range is now 77,000. That's a 3.9% drop. The Model 3 performance is now 89,000 Australian dollars. Now, by the way, this is in Australian dollars, not US dollars. If you convert these numbers to US dollars, that means the Model 3 rear-wheel drive is just over $40,000. And the Model 3 performance is just over $60,000. Model Y standard range is $68,900. That's a decrease of 2.4%. It comes to about $45,000 US dollars. The Model Y performance is $94,900, which is around about $65,000 US dollars. South Korea price is 
in US dollars, Model Y long range, 66,000, and the Model Y performance, 74,500. In addition to that, talknews.com says Tesla has now reduced, Tesla has now revealed prices for the Model X and the Model S in China, which has now started selling in Europe. The Model S long range is $115,000. The Model S Plaid is $147,000. Now this is US dollars. The Model X long range is $128,000 and the Model X Plaid is $151,000. Now it sounds expensive, but um, when you consider like the Plaid, what is its competition? You've got to consider what its competition is. And I think the price is incredible when you think about it, right? How many other SUVs in the world can do zero to 62 miles an hour in well, well under three seconds? Um, can't think of many right now. Can you let me know if you can think of any in the comments? So Tesla reduced their prices in the US by around seven and a half thousand dollars, depending on you know that most of those had to be actually models that were in stock, as in models that were in inventory. They basically cleared all their inventory now, so I'm not sure if those discounts will still apply. However, some Tesla vehicles now do qualify for the federal tax incentive, seven and a half thousand US dollars in the US. The Model Y standard range doesn't doesn't qualify, or the Model Y performance, Model Y long range don't qualify because they don't have, uh, because they're not heavy enough. It's ridiculous. You engineer a car really well, you make it as light as possible. It's lighter than all the competition based on the size, and you get punished for it, right? The Volkswagen ID4, which is a smaller vehicle but it's heavier, it qualifies because it's heavy. It's bizarrely heavy for its size. But I think that could change. There's been some protests going on. Model Y with seven seats, it qualifies because it's got extra weight from the extra seats. Bizarre. Anyhow, the Model 3, that qualifies for the incentive. The Model 3 long range. So at least you can get the discount on that. And at least if you find a Tesla Model Y with seven seats, if you order one online, you'll get the $7,500 discount. So there's that too. As you can see, Tesla's brought the prices down. Where will be next? Well, many people might be thinking Europe would be next. The problem is there, Tesla has so much demand. Look at that. Look at the sales in the UK. Number one seller in the UK. Number one seller in Germany. We're talking EVs here. But the Tesla Model Y was the best-selling car period in the UK. Number one in Germany. Number one in Germany when it comes to electric car sales. Number one in Norway. Number one in France. Number one in, yeah, you get the picture everywhere. So maybe Europe, they'll keep the prices the same for a little while and well, make hay while the sun shines. They might as well, especially considering some of the competition in Europe have recently raised prices, Volkswagen being one of them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching my friends. Have a great day.